This lesson is titled Measuring and Constructing Angles and in this video we're going to complete example one where we're going to measure the size of each angle below. Now I know I've only got questions A and B here but on the next slide we also have question C so we're going to do this three times and each time we're going to state the size and the type of each angle. So the first thing we need to do is grab our protractor and you'll notice you have like a center point on it which needs to go over the vertex of the angle or the red dot in this particular case. Once you've done that you can turn your protractor until one of the arrows on your angle, angle points to a zero. So we can see it's pointing to a zero here. Now something that's very important to note is this zero is on the outside of the protractor not the inside. And we'll talk a little bit later about why that's important. Now let's look at the other arrow. The other arrow is actually pointing to two different numbers. It's pointing to the number 60 and it's pointing to the number 120. So which one of those two angles do we pick? Well going back to our zero, you will notice that this zero is on the outside of our protractor and so is the 60. So we know that this angle is an angle of 60 degrees. Remember we're not just measuring the size of the angle, we're also stating the type of the angle. So we also need to write that this is an acute angle. Acute meaning less than 90 degrees. Alright, let's move on to question B. Once again, we take our center point and place it over the vertex of the angle. And then we keep moving our protractor until one of the arrows points to zero. Now this time, the zero is on the inside of the set of numbers here. So where's the other arrow pointing? Well, it's pointing in this general direction like so. It's pointing to two different numbers. It is pointing to the number 65 degrees and it's also pointing to the number 115 degrees. So which one is it? Well, because this time our zero is on the inside, we need to take the inside number, which in this case is the 115 degree angle, not the 65 degree angle. You'll also notice when we look at this angle, this is larger than 90 degrees, which means it's an obtuse angle. Obtuse angles are between 90 and 180 degrees. All right, let's move now on to question C. This time we're measuring a reflex angle. And we'll start off the same way. This time we actually need to turn our protractor upside down and put our center point on our angle. One edge needs to point to a zero. So we'll, we'll make it this arrow. Okay, now you'll notice that we are faced with a problem. And the problem is that we start at the zero, go around 180 degrees, and then we need to go further than that. Our protractor is not big enough to measure this angle. So what do we do about this? Well, whenever you're faced with a reflex angle, what you do is you measure the other angle inside like so. I've marked it in green. So let's do that and then we'll move from there. So grabbing our protractor, placing it on the vertex and turning it so it points to zero. Remembering that we need to check which zero the arrow points to. So it's the inside number, not the outside. And the other arrow points in this general direction like so. Now because we're on the inside of the protractor, we know it's going to be on the inside. So it's going to be 125 degrees. Okay. Now remembering we haven't actually calculated our reflex angle. So let's move the protractor away. And this 125 degrees represents this green angle here. The angle we're trying to find is the reflex angle on the outside. So how do we find that now? Well, 
angles in a revolution add up to 360 degrees because a revolution is a full circle. So if we take the 360 and subtract the 125 degree angle, it will actually tell us the size of our reflex angle. So what do we get when we do that? We get 235 degrees. So our solution is 235 degrees for our reflex angle and it, we also need to state its type which we've just been talking about it's a reflex angle remember to read the description under the video if you would like to print a worksheet with questions about measuring and constructing angles that concludes example one